What is going on guys? Sid here with another FIFA 22 video and welcome to the RTG on this channel. Guys, so if you are new here, I'll bring you up to speed really quickly to, as to how this team is here. But if you aren't new here, if you are a returning subscriber, you guys already know the deal. Guys, in uh, January, I had to cut the game cold turkey and my relative I and right now bringing you up to speed in the fastest way possible right now I'm trying to salvage my RTG guys still no money put in and if you tuned in to yesterday's video or you just caught a glimpse of yesterday's video I'll bring you up to speed with that I packed a foot captains Lorenzo Insigne sold him and then the squad went through every single change known to man right uh, a lot of trial and error uh, in in order to try to best bring the squad up to the relative power right the bare minimum relative power uh uh when you're going against your opponent's team right the bare minimum necessary right so picked up cordoba he was in the right center back position and uh cordoba's cordoba's a beast the 87 version of the card is the one that's out obviously we're probably gonna try to aim for the upgraded version of that card but for the time being uh Here's what happened. I said to myself, let's be cheap, sold off Cordoba, put on Skriniar in that position, and um, I had run I was running Domestic Man in the match, Handanovic here, and I picked up Quags. Quags, when I had the coin, when I, when, when I sold off Cordoba, um, and, and got the coinage back, obviously there's a tax you pay for doing that, right? Um, but also, uh, by the time I tried to pick up Quags with the, the, bit, the with the little coins that I had, right? By the time I got 110k in coinage, uh, by the time I got a yeah 110k, Quags went up to 120k. By the time I got up to 120k, Quags went up to 130k. That was the story. Like through Ronsack method, I just kept trying to build up the coinage, and by the time I got up right to that level of coinage, Quags went up by 10k, right? Um, so I sniped one. For 125k, the card is a beast card. I played him in at a rivals level. I played him in four foot champs level matches. Guys, he scored me a hat trick in one of my foot champs level matches. But let me tell you something about the card. I was playing him on 10 chem by the way. But let me tell you something about the card. The card is a beast. Does he feel end game? Yes. Is he a cheap end game card? Absolutely. Bar none. He's the best value for coins in a striker you can you can get right um bar none he's amazing he's an elite level foot captains player uh for the price right and the the guy ages like fine wine that's all i want to say about that but my back line i was trying to use signature sign and screen ER right here and domestic man in the match hand Anovich. that was a huge mistake because at this level in fifa 22 the bare minimum pace that you need to have is an 85 right and i'm going to I, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming to that arrival by looking at the pace of Sule, right, and looking at the cards I used to run. Because in reality, all the foot, all the foot champs players that you're playing against, they're sweaty as hell, right? And uh, it's just a sweat fest, and they, and you get burnt on the counter attack so easily in this game. <clears throat> Excuse me, my coffee. I had to burp, but yeah, guys. The, the the minute you push up too far with your defenders, or the minute the AI pushes up too far, you get burned by Mbop, the likes of Mbappe, by Eusebio, by, by you, you name it. You just name the player and it will burn your back line. You need to have as high possible pace in your back line, right? That is the realization at this stage in the game because it's it's post team of the year right that's just normally what happens so what i ended up doing i literally just i've been eyeing this card for a long time he's a cheap got it out card if you're looking at the stats piero in capier right uh hopefully i didn't butcher the man's name because i was looking at this card since it was released right the guy is a huge prospect his pace you don't have to touch his defending is near perfect after the upgrade he was in eight i was eyeing him when he was in 86 now he's in 87 i want to try that card out guys i just grinded up to the stindle as well like oh uh, whoa yeah i literally just grinded up to the large stindle and i was like okay we're gonna test out stindle as well because 
uh, if we're looking at the distribution here, the distribution of stats here is absolutely perfect for a starting squad striker or center attacking mid. I'm going to decide that right now. You guys are going to get an informal review of both Lars Stindl and you're going to essentially find out how Piero, this cheap godded out card, this Piero in Capier plays uh, at this stage in FIFA 22. So we're going to start off. I feel like we, I want to start off in a Rivals match, then we'll head to a foot champs level, like, right away, right? On the bench, we're going to put Zidane on the bench in the meantime, right? Um, this Zidane card, I've tried to stretch out, stretch him out for as long as humanly possible. I was using him in my starting squad. Uh, we've got two, we'll play two Rivals games and one foot champs levels game, right? Uh, because right now, uh, with the squad I'm running, unfortunately, Quags drops down to a 9 chem player. We were, we were using him as a 10 chem player as a 10 chem absolute beast right but right now with the squad i'm running how i'm running the squad right because i'm using my center backs in this way uh mckinney is on 8 chem i had to change whoa 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 i had to change that doesn't matter i have to go anyway uh i have to change um i had to change my managers right uh, shift them around so i'm using uh a manager that that would uh, put McKenny on the bare minimum of eight chem, right? Because this is a little weird. I normally don't play my CDMs on uh, anything other than ten chem, right? So Weston McKenny is going to be on eight chem. It won't be too big of a hit, but I had to change my managers around in order to bring Pietro Incapier on ten chem, which is much more important, and uh, just to get my guys on ten chem, right? I picked up Neuer again, right? The amount of goalkeepers that I've gone through is just insane. Trap is my favorite, but right now I want to be safe. I want to use this version of the Neuer card. I feel like that's the correct thing to do. Guys, I don't want to talk your ears off. I want to get into the first match as soon as humanly possible. Guys, we're going to check out Lars Stindl, how he plays in game. We're going to check out um, Piero Incapier, see how he plays. Uh, Quags, he is the finest of wines. Guys, if you have the coinage, pick him up because... um. Uh, not to take anything away from Stindle, but I want to try out both. Alright, so we get to the first opponent, and guys, uh, th these set the in-game recordings, um, the in-game mic recordings takes place in post-processing, uh, just a heads up. But guys, we get into the first match at a Division Rivals level. And, um, guys, this is the first match of the day, right? And, uh, I'm getting a gauge of how everyone plays. From Piero Encapé to, um, Encapé, right? Uh, uh, and, uh, Fabio Quagliarella and, um, uh, Lars Stindl, right? So, I'm expecting a couple of things, but all, everything just goes out the window, like, right from the start. It's like the, 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 the swift kick in the head, right? I wanted to say something else, but it's like the swift kick, like, right at the beginning to let you know you're, you're, you're playing, uh, a high-level, uh, opponent, right? Um, so, he has a deceptively simple-looking team for this stage in the game, but guys, he pulls out, that's gotta be one of the best goals uh, I've seen in FIFA 22 uh, and it was done on me with that beautiful Henrik Mkhitaryan card and guys the story of the first half in this particular match was where in the world is Lars Stindl right so guys what I'm gonna tell you like right off the bat I was super super annoyed at this match right uh, at the beginning of this match right um could be that I'm just waking up and I'm groggy as hell but Lars Stindl really seemed like the AI seemed like he, he just seemed to vanish wow. and getting out of the first half seemed to be the hugest issue right so I just had to wait for my opponent to tire himself out right and uh, we get into the second half and that's when I started to find the holes in my opponent's defense, right? Um, but this was a very, very strong opponent. I mean, that's got to be like one of the best goals I've seen in FIFA 22 with Henrik Mkhitaryan, right? So anyway, I pull it back. 
It's 1-2 now, um, second half with Christopher Nkunku, right? Nkunku coming to save the day. This 90 rated Nkunku card is really, really good. It was one of the only SBCs I was able to complete after the end of the previous season, right? Um, with the season rewards, right? But then Quagliarella, he's on 9 cam at the moment, right? At the moment, he's on 9 cam, but I was playing him on 10 cam before. But guys, Quags shows up big time. Of course, he's going to show up even on 9 cam, right? I have two matches to play with him on 9 cam then the remainder of the matches we play him on 10 cam but guys quags shows up of course he does because quags is fine wine right so in any case Uba Makano comes on in the second half all my substitutes are coming on in the second half we're getting a gauge of how Piero Incapier plays in the back quags shows up again he makes it 3-2 guys Lars Stindl um like he's 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 kind of like disappearing but he's not disappearing right he's handing out the assists right now right in the first match he's handing out the assists but my opponent has a really really interesting side right he's very creative with his side Stindl shows up right at the 83rd minute right right at the ending we put it to 4-2 right so the story of all soccer and football matches it's always a tale of two halves right and uh you can be winning winning so comfortably in the first half which my opponent was my opponent shut me down shut me down in everything but then he comes back right and then i take my foot off the gas and he scores with zaniolo right so this guy has a serious serious city uh, team right um very creative the guy knows what he's doing he knows how to play fifa right and uh he has a very interesting squad obviously creative for that reason right so it's four three right and i'm just like thinking to myself wow wow um i really underestimated my opponent plus i'm figuring out in Capier at this point i'm figuring out how um lars Stindl plays but guys lars Stindl takes the break and right there i was like torn between two lines uh should i take the shot or be unselfish with lars Stindl and hand off another assist right so we make it uh five three in the second half right and um guys guys i really you know like my team my team showed up in the second half neuer saves my behind uh as much as humanly possible right in the second half as well right not for nothing my opponent was still trying but guys stindle goes he's on the break again guys Look at this. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, Fabio Cagliarella, the FG2 legend. And guys, there is the first match, right? And uh, That's a what a match, match this was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I cannot complain, All right. right? So Stindo gets a 9.5, pulls, pulls himself out of the mud, right? Uh, almost completely. Quags gets a 10, of course, right? Because um, the man in real, real life ages like fine wine. Okay, so we're heading into the second match. And um, yeah, I'm still waking up, still brushing off the cobwebs, still trying to get a gauge as to how my back line plays. Uh, but we do have Incapie on 10 chem. You have to remember that, right? So he's on 10 chem. Quags is on 9 chem at the moment. Um, it's only two games, right, out of the 10 that I will, you know, uh, no, I think it's 11 games, actually, I played, right, uh, now. But uh, by the end of this video, it's going to be 11 games. But in two, the first two matches, Quags is on 9 chem, right? That's what you guys need to know. Uh, long story short there. But guys, um, it really does seem like I'm just waking up and I'm, like, slow... I'm like slow to, uh, you know, get going, and uh, my opponent punishes the hell out of me with, of course, Jonathan David, right? Because that 87 David card for the time period was one of my favorite cards, right? As a super sub, as a super sub, not a starter, as a super sub, and of course, I let in two goals, right? But I'm just like to myself, you know what? It's a long match, right? And Chiesa, I'm trying out Chiesa in this position now too, right? There's a lot of there were a lot of changes made, but guys, Stindle shows up. Sloppy goal, but Stindle is in the correct position, right? And that was something I didn't expect, but guys, you gotta expect it, right? And it's down to the work rates, right? Um, you got he's he's like a long haul player, 
right? Um, you gotta wait for the 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 whole match. He's slow. He's kind of like the slow to start. It's the medium medium work rates. Definitely down to that. But it's a free. It's a free, like almost like Cristiano Ronaldo card, right? Without the the special traits or anything like that, right? Because just based on the stats alone, it's a, a and you know it's a formidable it's a formidable card, right? Um, is he better suited for center attacking mid or striker? That's really up to you. But we're playing him as a striker, and he's kind of like the AI in game. It naturally he naturally still plays as. He, it, it's just one of those things he just naturally still plays as um he feels in game he feels like a center attacking mid so anyway i pulled back three goals right um that's the story of the first half in the second match right and stindle shows up in the second match like you have to also um get a gauge of you know your opponents there's a lot of things to take into consideration when you're playing these matches right wow and i'll probably i'm probably recording over myself right now speaking but um don't really care <laughs> um because these are all post-processing but um you're getting a gauge right there's this a learning curve on every card is what i'm trying to say right you have to get a gauge as, how, as to how your opponents not your opponents how how your players play in game and right there finesse shot right my opponent wasn't expecting that but he was closing down my other players expecting me to move in a different direction and pass off the ball but instead i met and he took all of his defenders came off of stindle and i was just like okay you know what let me take the shot right so uh finesse shot with my boy lars stindle right um for a free Bundesliga card, he's actually putting in the work. And for the time period in FIFA, he kind of makes up for the lost time. You know, essentially my lost time in FIFA. Would it, be, would it have been awesome if I could have used that Richarlison that I've got on the bench as my start, in my starting squad? Well, yes, right? But I would need a center attacking mid Socrates, Kaká, or some other form of a Brazilian two rages? Yeah, beast. Two but guys, rages. check it <laughs> out. Okay. We get to All right, the second so, match, uh, and it's another gets rager. A Three goals scored, one assist. All right, so it's it's down to his work rate sometimes he disappears you have to cater for how he disappears in game right um that's what i'm gonna tell you uh defensively how strong do i feel right now um stronger than before but uh that i think it's down to my playing right right um but just for safety so it doesn't stop recording in the middle of the match let's get into the third match at a rivals level then we're gonna test this out in champs hopefully uh, so we're getting an idea how Stindle plays. Surprising, right? Wow. Yeah, that wow that you guys heard was uh, in-game, right? I kept the mic on just to say wow. Because that was uh, essentially yesterday, my foot champs experience. Because that's what you have to expect in foot champs, right? So usually when you guys hear me say my team is not up to par, I'm usually talking at a foot champs level, right? Because those are the guys that are going to burn you day in and day out, right? And um, those are pro players. Almost everyone you see in foot champs, um they're pro level guys right um they're casual foot champs players of course i right now i'm a casual foot champs player right um more interested in building awesome teams and working on my rtg right but um this year i kind of fell off the map but guys definitely have to get getting to the stindle. hang of stindle right what he's good at how his weak foot feels in game how his shooting feels in game guys the finishing on the stindle card is insane it's absolutely beast like right and um it's just one of those things where yo i'm just like I i'm i'm playing with stindle and i'm like i'm getting an idea that he's going to uh slowly but surely venture into the correct position in game right so we're right now we're using alexis sanchez to replace chiesa um we're using a uh, zakaria to replace um goretzka normally right and we're using upa Meccano, my upa Meccano, to replace my um zule right so uh how for uh for however long i'm gonna be keeping that back line um the way it is right uh, or uh, it, it'll largely be dependent on the cards, the center back cards, that come nice. out, right? So if 
But for right now, the pairing between Sule and Incapié feels really, really good. I know it seems like I've conceded a lot of goals, but you have to expect that at this time period in FIFA 22. Because you, you naturally have a whole bunch of amazingly godded out strikers and attackers in this game right now. Right? So, um, there's only so much you can cover in the back line. That's just a fact of the matter, right? You're not going to get clean sheets. If you're looking to expect three clean sheets in a row, you're not going to do that, right? You have to lower your expectations um, a little. But between Encapié and Sule, I want to reiterate again, right? The media, media, the pairings of two medium, medium work rates, right? It's not ideal, right? It's not the best. You want medium high or low high, right? Um, at least one of your center backs to have that type of uh, work rate um, just to cover your behind if a lot of your back line moves forward, okay? Uh, that's just a fact of the matter because you want the AI to move in a specific way. But guys, we get into the third match and Stindl is doing work, right? He, he feel you're getting an idea of how he moves and every single one of my opponents uh, is, 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 is a high level opponent. Let's get that straight. But guys, um, we saw Henrik Mkhitaryan do that amazing bicycle like, right at the beginning and then you see a David Beckham like pass right um the Beckham to Ronaldo goal the famous Beckham to Ronaldo pass uh it felt like that in game right because that was that's literally the Real Madrid one uh that's like literally one of my favorite passes in all of football right and um guys my opponent scored that with Jorginho, and I was like floored. That that was a serious, serious goal. So, wow. uh, kudos to my opponent. Um, Nkunku shows up. Nkunku shows up, right? And scores the game winner in the third. Not a rage quit, right? Unfortunately, not three rage quits in a row, but we're firing on every possible cylinder to go into for champs and to play better FIFA than we played yesterday right because guys. yesterday we were playing absolutely absurdly the bad FIFA because wow. uh, the screen ER was underpowered Stindle for this stage in the game two goals 9.0 <laughs> as a striker what huh <sighs> all right so we're riding a high we can definitely make it to d1 if we stay here um but i think what we should do right now is uh Head to foot champs. So I'm going to jump into a foot champs level match. Uh, literally just took like 45 seconds, right? I wanted to, I'm still riding that high, so. Ugh. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, right? Guys, I tried to clip, uh, tried to hold off on clipping everything right because i know you guys are not seeing a lot of gameplay content with the assorted amounts of players but guys it's just one of those things where you know uh i wanna it, there's just so much content there were so many good goals so many good passes uh really have to highlight the two opponents that i faced that scored two two brilliant brilliant goals on me right so there is a learning curve on incapier i will tell you that Pagliarella, he is he's godlike in the game right he's end game material without the end game price i'm telling you that right now uh stindel stindel is putting in work right he's definitely high tier he's not end game but he's definitely definitely high tier right um for this stage in fifa and guys i score uh with quags taking that simple beautiful penalty guys by the way quagliarella scored me a free kick uh, the other day right um when he was on 10 camp but anyway we get into the first foot uh, first and only foot champs caliber match uh in in this video and um quags on 10 camp now right so he's he's good right the only thing i really had to get used to aside from the new players is uh mckenny being on 8 cam because you're expecting him to move like a 10 camera right uh because i had a shadow on him and you're expecting that extra mm -hmm in terms of pace and tracking back and tra going forward and you're you're expecting that and now you have to readjust your like subconscious type the subconscious type of expectations right for that car right uh uh at you know at a level underneath your conscious awareness right so that's what i mean to say there but guys 18th minute stindle puts away um guys 
then they'll just put away another goal, right? Um, long story short there. And yeah, um, I'm firing on every cylinder when you see this match, right? Do I normally fire on all these cylinders? No. No, right? Uh, majority, the majority of my, uh, the past three FIFAs, I've been under intense stress, right? Um, intense, intense, intense stress. I believe uh, I'm prematurely gray, right? Um, uh, I have prematurely, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm aging, I'm aging like, I'm, I'm not aging like Fabio Quagliarella or Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Because these guys are aging like fine wine. I'm out here at post, uh, after, after, after I blew everything in my knee, like post, like, like, like guys, that was like the end all be all <laughs> of me aging gracefully. I'm in the process of rediscipling, right? Fun fact, fun foot though. But guys, the gray hairs, right? The gray hairs are showing up, right? My whole beard is going gray, right? At this stage, and it's just ridiculous. Uh, but I am trying to get my conditioning in, and I'm still trying to. Um, still trying to train at an athletic level, right, at a martial arts level, but it's tough, right? Because uh, martial arts is uh, you know, a lot of soccer players. Patrick, go find foot champs level. Free card. Martial arts as well. But guys, oh well, man, okay. Yeah. So, so uh, anyway, right, uh, guys, I think I, I made train, the correct sure, decision. Like uh, right? given guys, my circumstances really and given. The coin distribution from pulling the Lorenzo Insigne. It took a little while. I incurred three losses at a foot champs level by putting on signature signings Scriniar. And guys, remember, in foot champs, at this stage in the game, you are going to pay the price for having a slow back line because players are insanely sweaty. But guys, you just got a review of Lars Stindl in four games. In four games, it's nine goals, four assists. Guys, if you're running a, any sort of Bundesliga hybrid, do consider doing that. It's a cheap beast, right? I spent all night trying to, trying to get this card into the team because I am running a hybrid Bundesliga side, essentially Bundesliga City A side, right? And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's try out Lars Stindl, right? Um, as I'm fresh, as I've had a week of consistent playing in foot, in, in, in FUT, right? Um, so at a foot champs level, hat trick, right? I, I believe that's what we just saw, right? A hat trick um, with Lars Stindl. But guys, the win streak, the, the win streak comes from obviously the back line. Having a great defense or a formidable enough defense uh, solidifies, right? You can score as many goals as possible, but you have to remember the sport you're playing. And this is a highly defensive sport. Once you make a mistake in the back line, you're cooked, you're toast, right? So Piero Incapié, right? On paper, I look like I conceded a lot of goals, but guys, guess what, right? You have to remember the time period that we're in. Piero Incapié, for the price, 73,000 coins, if you can fit him into your team, for 73,000 coins and with the possibility of getting upgrades, right? Um, Guys, guys, it's a no-brainer. This is a God-tier level card, right? That isn't God-tier level priced, okay? So 10 out of 10, no, maybe a 9.2 out of 10 for Encapie. And uh, uh, the only thing that would probably let him down is the work rates. Uh, Lars Stindl, solid 9.3. Yeah, 9.3 seems the like the correct number out of 10. Guys, Quags is a 10 out of 10 right um just long story short quags is a 10 out of 10 right uh god tier level player not a god tier level price and that's what we're looking for we're looking for the cheapest beast possible right if only if only we had weston mckinney on 10 chem right so that'll largely be due to my right center back side right in the uh, in the coming like uh week week or two right uh, the coming weeks or two, uh, yeah, in the coming weeks, uh, we'll see if if we can work up to the higher level. Ivan Cordoba will have a drastically different team, but right now, right now, we're playing great FIFA again. Um, took a lot of trial and error. Peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours, guys. Lars Stindl review, okay? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do remember to hit that like 
button. It helps with the algorithm. Subs are helpful. Subscriptions, uh, likes, comments. Guys, how's your weekend in FUT going? Are you guys liking foot captains? I love it, right? I love being back in FIFA. One week of consecutive playing. Cheers. 